All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we're gonna do this real quick because this is gonna be a real short one. Like I said, these vlogs aren't gonna be really fancy at first. Um, so those three big things are rolls of heavy-duty rubber. So I have a roll, the same section of that stuff right there. Um, I forgot what it is, it's like five eighths. It's big, thick stuff, uh, very, very heavy. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm tearing out these tracks, I'm tearing out this old rubber floor, and I'm gonna coat the whole floor of my trailer in that stuff. Um, but first, I, I gotta tear all this stuff out. And I just figured this is one of those things, I, I'm gonna try and make this channel, like my vlog channel, something that really helps people out. I'm not necessarily gonna show you complete build outs, it just depends on what I'm doing. But one thing I came up with that I know this will help a ton of you guys out, I don't know if you guys can see that little mark right there. So this is quick track. If you guys ever wanna, I'll try to see if I can find some um, and link it below. Um, YouTube does this weird thing where you can't use external links right away, but uh, eventually when the channel's verified and all that stuff, you'll be able to use these links. Um, but if you can't, I'll, I'll link it anyways. It's called, I think it's quick track or something like that. I'll try to find the name of it. If anything, I'll link it down in the comments. But uh, this is for, so you can. So that's how you strap down your machines. Um, super quick, you can move it back and forth. Um, it's one of the coolest things I discovered a long time ago. And then when I got this trailer, they offered that, so I had them put it in. Well, so what I was trying to show you here is this little line I'm putting here is where they have uh, they have these big self tappers um, and I'm pulling them all out I'm probably gonna replace them with new ones when I do it but the thing is is where those self tappers are are the are the cross members underneath the trailer um, and you want to put those into there on your track because when you crank it down it's you want it to pull on that instead of the wood because it'll rip right out of the wood um, so what I did here is I'm gonna be pulling this out I'm gonna be covering this whole area you know with the rubber flooring so I won't be able to see it. So I'm putting putting these little marks down right next to where the where the old bolts went so that when I lay out the rubber, I can put new bolts in in the same spots and uh, run run a line across the whole trailer so that basically uh, you know where your studs go, you know, all the way across. So just a quick tip I wanted to give you guys. Um, it's one of these things. I'm gonna try and do this all the time. Uh, this is one of the main reasons I wanted to start the vlog channel because I get these ideas where I'm like, that would help so many people out. <laughs> and it's just, you know, you get, some people get lucky, you get a good idea, you do it, nobody else benefits from it. So I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit here. I'm gonna get back to work. I gotta pull the rest of these bolts out, pull the tracks out, pull the rubber out, clean the whole floor. Uh, I'm gonna be sweeping, vacuum it all out, make it really nice and clean. And then I'm gonna put the rubber flooring down and that's gonna insulate the floor. So if you guys seen my very first vlog, I was doing the ceiling here and I'm gonna, I still have to put wood across this, but as you guys can see, the whole ceiling's now insulated. Um, so the rubber on the floor will insulate the floor. Uh, I'll put some wood on here. And with just that and that, even with the walls not insulated, this trailer will be like 20 to 30% more uh, insulated than what it was before. Um, I do have to probably cut this section out and put a vent in here um, or a window in the wall. I still haven't decided what I want to do. Comment below, what would you do? Would you do the vent and the window or just a window? Um, I'm trying to make it so that I can open it up and vent it out of here. Um, I want to be able to sleep in this thing. Uh, those of you guys that don't know, if you aren't following my DWS Outdoors channel, that'll be all linked down below. Go follow that. I did a whole video on building, building out a, a fold down bed and then my cabinet that I built up front. So this trailer was completely empty when I bought it. Um, and I tend to just build things whenever I feel like I need to add something. So instead of buying stuff like buying a sleeper shack, I bought a trailer for a very good deal, wasn't insulated, didn't have anything in it, and then started adding things. Um, and that's the best way I can tell everybody if you want to save money, learn to do things yourself. Learn how to measure stuff, learn how to cut things, learn how to use tools, and then same thing. If you have ideas, like if you guys have any good ideas, like the best vents, I want to put like one of the best vents in here um, because I want to run like a solar thing 
and I'm going to probably put a solar charger and stuff in there later on. This is a project that's going to keep going. So if you guys want to stay tuned, subscribe. Um, I'm going to keep messing around with it. Um, but yeah, if you have any good ideas, uh, I don't know vent brands and I don't know uh, window companies or brands that would be the best ones to use. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to cut into the side of this thing or cut the roof open and seal it. But I'll learn as I go. So. I'm going to get back to that, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. Mark those things on the sidewalls so that when you go back and you lay something down after it hides all your spots, and then you go right back and use a straight edge or a, a snap line or a quick line or whatever, and uh, mark it and you'll know right where your studs are. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. Hopefully you guys are staying tuned to the vlogs. Um, like I said, these are going to be random all over the place because it's basically, I got an idea, hopefully this helps some people out. Thumbs up for good ideas, and uh, yeah, if you appreciate it, comment below and let me know what you think. All right, see you guys later.